Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a very easy granny pattern of baby poncho, which is for one to three year baby girl. I am using a five mm steel crochet hook and a three ply baby soft yarn. First of all, make a slip knot. Then, with the help of crochet hook, we would make chains. So make chain 1, chain 2, chain 3, chain 4, chain 5, chain 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 10. In this way we would make 102 chains. So I have made 102 chains. Now we would take the right side of chain upward like this and then we would make a slip stitch into the very first chain make sure you don't have any twist in the chain so make a slip stitch into the very first chain and we would start our first round in the starting we would make corner first of all make three chains which will be counted as a double crochet here wrap the yarn around the crochet hook go into the next second chain and then draw a loop Pull the yarn through two loops first and then pull the yarn through other two loops to make a double crochet stitch. Wrap the yarn again, go into the next chain and then draw a loop. Pull the yarn through two and then pull the yarn through other two. Now this is a set of three double crochet stitches. Make two chains and then make a double crochet into the fourth chain then make double crochet into the fifth chain then make a double crochet into the sixth chain so this is the first corner of our poncho with chain to space and now we would make chain one and we would skip one chain and start working from the next chain make a double crochet into it then into the next chain make another double crochet stitch then make another double crochet stitch into the next chain and we have a set of three double crochet stitches here make chain one again we would skip one chain from here again and from the next chain we would start making double crochet stitches one double crochet in this chain then one double crochet in the next one and one double crochet in the next one and we have a set of three double crochet stitches again we would make chain one again we would skip one chain here and in the next three chains we would make one double crochet in each of them so in this way we would make set of three double crochet stitches plus chain one 11 times so i have made 11 set of double crochet stitches here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then 11 so after making 11 set of three double crochet stitches we would make other corner again so make chain one skip one chain from here go into the next chain make double crochet one go into the next chain make double crochet two go into the next chain make double crochet three then we would make chain two for the corner chain one and then chain two and into the very next chain we would make double crochet one double crochet two into the next chain double crochet 3 into the next chain and this is our second corner for our poncho now we will make chain 1 and we will skip one chain and into the next chain we would start making double crochet stitches so in the next two double crochet uh, sorry chains make two double crochet stitches 
to make a set of three double crochet stitches for our granny pattern make chain one and skip one chain again and into the next one make one double crochet then two double crochet stitches into the next two chains as well so complete this set of three double crochet stitches 11 times again so I have completed 11 set of three double crochet stitches on this other side as well and here is chain one left make chain one and make a slip stitch into the third chain now make a slip stitch into the next double crochet stitch then into the next one we have to work into the chain 2 space so make a slip stitch into the chain 2 space and now we will start our second round so make 3 chains which will be counted as a double crochet and make 2 double crochet stitches into the chain 2 space then make chain 1 and chain 2 for the corner and we would make 3 double crochet stitches into the same chain 2 space again double crochet 1 double crochet 2 and then double crochet 3 now we would make chain 1 and we would work in this chain 1 space between set of 3 double crochet stitches double crochet 1 double crochet 2 and then double crochet 3 make chain 1 again go into the next chain 1 space make double crochet 1 double crochet 2 and then double crochet 3 into it make chain 1 and we would make 3 double crochet stitches in every chain 1 space plus chain 1 and in the next corner chain 2 space first of all make chain 1 and start working in it by making double crochet 1 double crochet 2 and then double crochet 3 make chain 1 and then chain 2 and then into the same space make double crochet 1 double crochet 2 and then double crochet 3 now make 3 double crochet plus chain 1 in every chain 1 space on the other side as well till the next corner so repeat this process of making 3 double crochet plus chain 1 till this side now in the end make chain 1 and make a slip stitch into the third chain then make a slip stitch into the next double crochet stitch then into the next one make a slip stitch and then into the chain 2 space because we have to work into the chain 2 space so now make 3 chains make 2 double crochet stitches into the chain 2 space then make 2 chains and 3 double crochet stitches into this chain 2 space again because this is our corner now we would make chain 1 and then into the next chain 1 space between set of 3 double crochet stitches we would make 3 double crochets So this is our pattern for poncho. We would repeat this pattern in every chain 2 space corner. We would make 2 sets of 3 double crochet stitches between chain 2 space. And we would complete it according to our required length of poncho with pink color. I have completed 18 rounds with this pink color. Now 
I would change the color. I am using white color yarn now. Make a slip knot of this yarn first and then make a slip stitch into the chain 2 space with this white color yarn. Then make 2 chains, uh, sorry 3 chains which will be counted as a double crochet in every round. And then make 2 double crochet stitches into this chain 2 space. Then 2 chains. Then make 3 double crochet stitches into this chain 2 space again. So this is how we join another color. You can make few rounds with pink and then few rounds with white as well. If you want to work in blocks. I just made pink color. More poncho is made with pink color. And then some rounds would be made with white color. Now cut the pink color yarn. And we would proceed some rounds with this white color yarn. So I have made 7 rounds with this white color yarn. And we would join pink color again. So make a slip stitch into the third chain here with this pink color yarn and we would make a border design with this pink color make a double crochet into the chain 2 space make chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 and then chain 4 make double crochet 2 into this chain 2 space make chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 and then chain 4 make double crochet 3 into this chain 2 space chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 and then chain 4 again and double crochet 4 into this chain 2 space make chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 and then chain 4 again and make another double crochet stitch which is the fifth one into this chain 2 space make 4 chains and make 6th double crochet stitch into this chain 2 space so this is our border edging design which is very simple and easy to make now in the very next chain 1 space we would make a single crochet like this you can see here now we would work into the next chain 1 space we would make double crochet 1 4 chains double crochet 2 4 chains again then double crochet 3 4 chains double crochet 4 then 4 chains double crochet 5 and 4 chains and the last one is 6 double crochet stitch Now we would make a single crochet into the next chain 1 space. So this is our process of making border edge design. So repeat it till, till the end and complete it. So our border edging design is completed. Now pull this yarn, cut it with the help of cutter and then remove the extra yarn strand. We would weave this yarn end with the help of tapestry needle and now we would make a round with white color on our neck. So start from this chain 1 space, make 3, 
chains and two double crochet stitches in this chain one space make chain one into the next chain one space make three double crochet stitches chain one and three double crochet stitches into the next chain one space we would repeat this and at these corners we would skip this place you can see here we would just skip this place of corner and we would start working into the next chain one space without making any chain one here and we would make three double crochet stitches in this next chain one space like this and then we would complete it till the end in the end we would make a slip stitch into the third chain by skipping this corner set of three double crochet stitches Pull this yarn, cut it with the help of cutter and then remove the extra yarn strand, weave these yarn ends with the help of needle as well. Now this is a simple chain string and five petal flowers with the help of yarn needle we would attach this string by pulling it through chain one spaces of this first white color round which i have made on neck so i have joined this string now attach the other flower and this two layer flower with the help of needle on this manchu so I have attached flowers on string and poncho and our very beautiful poncho for one two three year baby girl is ready I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple and beginner friendly poncho tutorial so if you like it give it big thumbs up thank you for watching bye